Guys, did want to hit before we uh, hit a quick break. Uh, the largest SPAC deal we've seen to date, just back to the market overall uh, this morning, it is um, the Asian, uh, Southeast Asian online food delivery, ride hailing, financial services company Grab. Uh, it's growing very quickly, as you might anticipate. It's an enormous deal, valuing the company at just under 40 billion dollars. It's going public via SPAC with Altimeter Growth Corp. This had been reported previously as a likely deal for that SPAC. Uh, and so we'll keep an eye on the shares this morning. Um, they are up a bit, but you can see it already may have reflected to a certain extent the expectations for this being the deal. It's a four billion dollar pipe uh, with another 750 million coming from Altimeter. Uh, they're also committing to a three year lockup on their um, on their SPAC shares itself that they're getting. Uh, other investors, BlackRock, Fidelity, the usual group that you often see in these pipes. But, Jim, what's interesting here as well is it wasn't more than, I think, just months uh, ago that this was valued at half the level it's going public at. To give you some sense is the excitement, at least, that some in the SPAC world are viewing some of these opportunities. They're willing to say, OK, yeah, we'll double that. We'll double that and take you public. Uh, and we'll be keeping a close eye on those shares. Well, why don't they just completely screw up the market with this? I mean, this is beginning to become – it, look, I, I do like the Coinbase, Coinbase deal. I think it's a real company. Uh, but why don't you hear this at $40 billion. I mean, like, well, why don't we just arbitrarily make up just ridiculous prices? I mean, I just – look, I think Grab could be very interesting uh, because, wow, it's like a, it, it's an Asian uh, Uber. But I, I just hear it's like, David, I, you can't just double the valuation – on, based on what? What happened at the company that it got double? That's, Tell me, David. I don't, what? I don't have an answer for you, and I think that's the appropriate question to be asking at this point. Obviously, Brad Gerstner, who's a frequent guest uh, with Scott Wapner uh, at noon on halftime, uh, is a very well-respected uh, investor. And look at that. I didn't even know. I just mentioned his name and he's coming on again today. <laughs> well, <laughs> who knew? Well, but, uh, make it 50 billion. I'm going uh, to make it 50 billion I'm because sure he's going to be really him, impressed. I'm sure I say get, 50. How so do you have 50? How about 60? Do I have 60 in the corner? 60. I got 70 in the back. <laughs> you'll get very articulate answers from him as to why this makes sense. Listen, there's no doubt this is going to be a leader. It's a huge potential market over there. But Jim, that's the key question, and Carl, uh, that, you know, and will continue yeah. to be. We'll, we'll watch the shares again. As I said, they, they had already had a move up to a yeah. certain extent. You I got can $75 see billion on the phone, David. I got $75 <laughs> billion on the phone. Back to you. Check to you. Check uh, to you. I hear Arcagos, well, actually. Once, Arcagos may want to corner the market in these shares, so who knows where it could go. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Do they actually have, what, SpongeBob, too? <laughs> they got SpongeBob? <laughs> NFL? No, they don't. They don't, but they like it. They like ah. it. Yeah, you never know. But is it, how about not, is it non-token? Is it, you know, is it uh, for the, never mind. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's non-fungible token N -N delivered to your house. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.